Ah, there's an all-you-can-eat sushi place. I've been thinking of Japanese tonight, but instead I I tried I tried um, this Thai place, and I don't know how authentic it was. You know, I have no idea. I have no idea because I've never been to Thailand. I, I just used to like Thai food in in New York. So I had the yam Thai lei which was a, a seafood salad. Uh, they said it was green mango. Yeah, there was some in there, and there was also pineapple. And um, then I had uh, the crying tiger, for reasons I explained in another clip. Let's see, where's that? Entre uh, viande. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ah, ce wrong a. Okay, tigre qui pleure à la sauce épicée au tamarin. It was uh, with tamarind. I had a cure royale and I had uh, a riz parfumé, just a little side of rice, and a cutter off of water, which is free. It was very good. A lot of people here in here are speaking English, and uh, it's very, very pleasant atmosphere. I've always wanted my husband to take me out here in this area one night for dinner, but, you know, he was pissed off with me today, and so I came to Paris alone, and I went to Notre Dame alone and I went to the movie alone the movie that he's been wanting to see for years which I had I didn't really care about but it was a film noir a 1950 gun crazy it was pretty good it was the inspiration for Bonnie and Clyde the movie for Arthur Penn you know I enjoyed it <laughs> I feel fine at the Christine Revival House Theater. Actually, I, I was I was kind of surprised that I could find it. I look at the prices on these art supplies. Jeez Louise. Oh, nice brushes. Well, I guess they have what you need, but I'm not sure that this is the best place to buy them here on the River Seine as far as prices go. I think that's Ile Saint Louis over there. Maybe it's Ile de la No, it's probably Ile de la Cité. I'm No, that's Ile that's Ile Saint Louis. Ile de la Cité is down here. Oh la la. So this was my afternoon out and my evening out alone. And now I've got to walk back and find the metro and take it back to Saint Denis. And uh, it was very pleasant. And I shall pay for this out of my savings, as usual, so that he cannot complain to me as he did today after lunch. And I cried and I sobbed. And he just kept on and on and on against me. And, you know, I had to ask him to leave the room and close the door and I was just sitting there sobbing alone for a while and it was really terrible you know well maybe you don't know if you haven't been married eh. so it goes the old ball and chain you know marriage, spouse, idiot. So I had a good time, you know. I had a little chat with the people next to me, an old American woman and a young French man, both speaking a mix of French and English, and I didn't pester them, I hope. Oh, this is Les Bouquinis. Oh, I want to eat here. Oh, 
Jesus, it's expensive. Well, it's not lit up, so you can't see it. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. But this is, you know, one of those Guy Savoy places. So, there you go. You know, that's where you sit and you have all the wine glasses and everything. And to hear American girls chatting. I miss my American friends. I wish to address somebody who lambasted me recently and in fact address some others who picked at me for possibly being not a patriot. You know, I, I don't even know what the definition of a patriot is, frankly. You know, being an expat can be really sad. And I've, I've never talked about why, I mean publicly on YouTube, why I, I left the United States. But it's bad. It's really bad and sad. And it was just best for me to leave the country. I just closed my retirement accounts and paid a five-figure amount in taxes and another five-figure amount for what I could get away from my second husband to send over here and uh, started a new life which was really hard and you really miss the things you know you miss so ultimately you do miss your family I remember crying once, missing my father. Oh, he died in 2009. You know, I wanted to see him again, and my husband didn't really want me to spend the money and go. <sighs> Doesn't matter. My parents were not... were not clingy people, thank God. They were just psychotic, you know. And, um, you know, everybody who's called me a moron on YouTube, without fail, has not looked at my clips and, um, they frequently, whenever they have a patriotic type of thing, whatever that means, in their name, they're invariably not, really. I mean, they don't have the correct, well, I don't know what correct is. You know, they just kick you. And they have no respect for women, or anybody else for that matter and they'll call you a moron and they don't even they haven't even seen all of your clips and comments which criticize your new country uh, a lot <coughs> in detail and express your sadness about being an immigrant <clears throat> Because you really can't go home again. And it's